My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Guten Morgen aus Deutschland, good morning from Germany. Miss Amber has posted another video titled Thinking about quitting YouTube. I keep gaining weight and grocery haul. The video is uh, roughly 15 minutes long. And before we get into it, I would like to say that as somebody that's been watching her channel for a few years, um, announcing to quit YouTube or um, expressing her feelings about possibly quitting YouTube is something Amber frequently does. Let's see what she has to say. Hello guys, it's another daily vlog. I don't know how I'm doing this. I don't know how I'm holding on. I didn't even want to get out of bed today. Jesus. Hey Amber, how are you doing? Are you motivated today? Doesn't look like you are. Again. I think that I am depressed. Oh God. Lord, give us the strength. So, I don't even like vocalizing that out loud. So we're just... What? You've been doing that for weeks on end now gonna kind of move past that but just know that that is the era we are in currently what the depressed era okay to that i want to say i've been digging around in um the official um, youtube blog uh where they updated us in april um uh, it says here an updated approach to eating disorder related content and um, so I've been uh, looking at that. I might do a separate video on that. But yeah, homegirl here needs to uh, get motivated because just eating, talking about depression and gaining weight at the same time, not such a good combination, homegirl. I don't know if you guys hear that, but my upstairs neighbors are... I don't know, making a lot of noise, but that's fine. I'm actually about to go weigh myself. I have not weighed myself in a very, very long time. For me, it's a long time. Can Yeah, oh, okay, I was just going to say it, it couldn't have been that long. Uh, when last time you told us you're in the 530s, which of course is completely uh, detached from reality. Probably like almost two weeks. I don't know. Something around those lines. And that's like a long time for me. So I'm going to weigh myself and I'm actually joining Lose It. My friend has inspired me to count my calories and I don't know. She has lost so much weight and it's just like super inspirational. She's been giving me advice and we joked around about her being my... Oh, she looks so exhausted from life. So demotivated. And, um, yeah. Dietitian. It was just like a whole moment. But I just really need to like get back on track okay the noise has stopped because it's just like i have just been eating my feelings and like i'll have a really good day and then the next day i'll have like a really bad day with my eating the noise has started again i just don't know if you guys can who cares why do you comment on that now i find that uh, really alarming how often she mentions um that she's off track and she's been also mentioning binging again and so uh, this girl with a massive eating disorder that has made it possible for her to eat herself to at least 600 pounds, I'm thinking, but again, the number doesn't make a difference. Uh, I think it's time to realize she needs professional help. Or not, so who knows? But yeah, it's just like my life is just like back and forth and I'm finding that I have so many different triggers. Like literally someone said the word fry in their video and it made me want to order Shake Shack fries and I'm just like oh my god I need to like slow my roll so I'm gonna go weigh myself and I'm dreading it with every part of me because I am insanely swollen like I don't think I've been this swollen yeah no the swollen word always comes up when she's talking about having gained weight that's not gonna fly I mean that's a small aspect of the whole problem we have uh here sitting in front of us but uh 
that uh, is not going to work and it automatically brings <laughs> brings the clips of Nicocado Avocado to mind where he's talking about it's all water weight. <laughs> in, in years. So I've also been doing a lot more Wow, her hair, did you just see that? Walking and I'm not just blaming it on the walking. I just want to say like, yeah, I've been eating like crap. So that is why I'm swollen. But I will say that usually when I eat like crap like this, I also am not like trying to move more. So it's like my body is like confused because it's like, okay, you're eating like crap, but you're moving your body more. So my lipedema, my lipedema is just like super swollen. So it's like, damn. Okay, I just weighed myself. Um, I took off all my clothes. <laughs> Put them back on, obviously. I am a little bit shocked. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, what, you gained a couple of pounds? You notorious liar. Wow. I just feel super pathetic. Pathetic. Yeah, that's the word for it. So, yeah, that's the word I'd be using too. So I'm signing up for Lose It Now. Um, and they're asking like a bunch of questions. This one is... Why did you decide to get started with Lose It today? And there's like multiple choice. I guess I'm gonna click the one that says I'm unhappy with my weight. How important is it for you to lose weight right now? It's my top priority. No, it's not. No, it is not. And it has not been, even though you lied on your channel about it being your top priority. How do you feel about being here? The options are excited, hopeful, hesitant, frustrated, I'm not sure. I'm gonna click frustrated because I'm so mad at myself. So what is your current weight? Oh my god, wow. So you scroll, like all the weights. See that, like how you scroll and stuff? When you're my size, you have to scroll for a hot minute. So I weighed in today at 537.0. Absolutely not, but nice try. At least you're not telling us you're losing because that was the bullshit you usually told us uh, before. Yeah, I'm really sad about that. Yeah, only six pounds gained. We saw you expanding like a yeast ball. I do not understand why you still find it necessary to lie. Um, so now I have to pick a goal weight. You guys already know. 199. So you guys remember when I wanted to lose the 56 pounds before I moved? I never explained why I chose that amount. It's because I wanted to reach 468 and 468 or like around there was the lowest I got while I was on Ozempic and I wanted to get back to that point. And it's like now before I move, I'm gonna have to like create a whole new goal or just like not even have a goal. I don't even know. Like I just feel so defeated right now. Why? Well, uh, rewatch your vlogs where you were being really arrogant about stuffing your face all day long and talking about the munchies and the Delta 8 or 9 gummies and all of that. Look at that and really examine what kind of a bitch you became just to get your way and eat all this takeout food. I am super morbidly obese. I should be eating healthier. I should probably be eating less. I don't want any advice. I don't need advice. I don't need doctors. I don't need anything like that. Everything that could be possibly said to me right now is already obvious. So don't waste your breath. And now, you know, we're on that roller coaster again where, yeah, now she has a brief moment of um, acknowledgement that she is doing this uh, the wrong way and that she's actively killing herself. And then she's gonna eat on camera again and uh, have that smirk on her face. Wow. To reach my all-time goal, I have to lose 338 pounds. Oh my God. This heartbreak era situation type deal is not doing me any good. Yeah, and it's also not doing you any good to use it as an excuse because you've been using excuses. So this time it's the breakup, before that it's the lipedema, lymphedema. You cannot lose any weight because your body just naturally gains weight. And to a certain degree that is true, but if you feed, feed yourself all these salt-laden foods, sugar-laden foods, um, all these, these trigger foods, you know, that have basically poison in them to continue your addiction, uh, to them you know it's it's your choice and again um, you push your audience away when they told you what are you doing you're on a downward spiral and um, 
now you're getting on board with us again and then you're jumping off the, the boat again i mean you know it is um really annoying and i don't think that amber reed should be making her entire money i mean her income consists only of monetizing her food addiction on youtube i need to like really snap out of it figure it out because this ain't it this ain't it i i, I cannot let this be the end of me hello hello we have a grocery haul we do we have tons of groceries so i'm gonna show you the stuff that i got for myself mm, i don't think so okay it looks like she's done with her grocery haul hello okay so i've also decided to obviously do some intermittent fasting with my intermittent google it Maybe you can also Google what that means so that you're not lying to us about it again. Calories, because when I do that, it just helps me not think about food for a large majority of the day. And that Okay, you need to stop uh, talking about food and stop circling every thought around food. That's, like, nice to me. I like that feeling of knowing, like, girl, you don't get to eat. Like, this is your fasting hours. So far I'm doing really good. Um, out of my 1800 calories, I've had 792 and I still have about six more hours that I'm able to eat. It's like beyond easy for me to even eat 1800 calories in one sitting. A lot of people don't realize that they do that. Like calories are sneaky little fellas. I'm not mm, I love the TED Talks of the 600 pounder about uh, nutrition, weight loss and stuff like that. She needs to not uh, give advice and not sound or try to sound like she knows what she is talking about. Of course, when you do intermittent fasting, you can't shovel the food in like a maniac and uh, then wonder why you're still gaining weight. You know, that's not how it works. Not gonna lie. I think I'm just like at that point where I'm just like I have to do this like in the same way that I have to breathe I have to wake up and shower I have to take well you don't take showers and gosh at least fix your hair if you can't wash it can you at least fix it up a little bit to show some kind of effort I also saw during the haul that she still has the glitter from two days ago on her face I mean that girl has just completely lost her plot and uh, it's sad to watch. And I'm an adult. I can only imagine what this does to teenagers, you know. Winky outside. I have to feed my animals. I have to take care of them. I have to do my job. I have to do YouTube. I Your job? This is not a job. What you are doing is trying to scrape by and uh, infuriate people to a degree where they hate watch your videos in order for you to have an income i have to be an adult i have to do you are not being an adult and you shouldn't get to talk about it because you are not adulting you are not doing anything that would indicate that you are not a teenager let loose on society with too much money on their hands you know adult things like i need to think of my weight loss in the same way something that i like have to do uh, how about not saying you have to do it? Let's just say you want to do it. You know, make a list of goals. I, am I saying this in every vlog or now or in every reaction? Um, you know, make a list of goals. Like, I want to be able to wipe myself again. I want to be able to walk Twinkie again. I want to be able to stand in the shower for longer than a minute uh, without my back hurting. Um... I want to be able to have a life that I don't I don't I don't feel like I have to lie to my uh, YouTube audience anymore. I can just be myself, you know, work towards those points actively, not just talking about it for the views, but actually working on it. It's not like a choice. And for so long it just like my mental illness and whatever it may be, it just made me feel like oh it was a choice. Okay, so she is repeating for the 9011th time uh, that she has mental disorders that she was also diagnosed with. I'm not getting into the details, 
but also that she has a de eating disorder, so mental disorders, eating disorders, um, and she's sitting here in front of the entirety of the audience without her videos being marked for uh, viewers of the age of 18 and above. And she is saying these things on YouTube and she's monetizing these videos. And even though like I subconsciously knew it wasn't, I don't know, I'm just like in a, in a, in a spot, in a spot folks, a spot. And you've been admittedly been in one for over four weeks and I think it's time for you to feel that that is alarming because you cannot just keep milking this. Of confusion, I feel lost, I just feel overwhelmed. I feel so overwhelmed, like beyond belief. Yeah, uh, it's gotta be overwhelming to sit on your butt all day long and think of ways how to spend your money. All right, Amber, I, I get it. And I do wanna say like, I prefer taking Delta 8 over Delta 9 because- Now she's talking about drugs again, that is rich. And so this is going to be another video that I report to YouTube. She she doesn't want it any other way, guys. If she showed any sign of acknowledging the wrongdoing, I, I wouldn't be so harsh. But um, this girl is just completely de devoid of um, devoid of logical thinking. Because Delta 9 is what gave me the, the munchies, is what I noticed. And then... Wait a minute, did you just not hold a TED talk about how you kind of found a sweet spot where uh, the Delta gummies are not giving you the munchies anymore? It is useless to listen to her because she keeps contradicting herself. And it was when I switched to the Delta 8, that is when I don't really get the munchies as much. So thank God. And then I actually ended up like Googling it and like looking it up and like that's actually very common for people. So. Yeah, no, uh, nothing about your life is common out here. Nothing. Not a single thing, honey bun, sweetie pie. Every time that I spoke about Delta 8, I didn't always mean Delta 8. There was a lot of times I was also taking like Delta 9. I noticed that. And Delta 9 is definitely more strong, gave me the munchies hard. Okay, you need to stop talking about this, about eating disorders and about your mental disorders and about your drug use because your videos are being broadcast in countries where the substances that you numb your feelings with because of your multiple disorders, um, they're not even legal. Core, so I knew I had to stop taking that because the munchies, like, it's not gonna help me in the long run. So I just need to like be proactive. Like if I want to take THC, I have to be proactive and like responsible while doing it. Hey guys, so I just did some dishes and put away some clothes. And yeah, of course you did. Hey, take a shower. Take a shower and put yourself together. How about, huh? And walk Twinkie. I've been trying my hardest. Why do you, now you're mentioning it multiple times in every vlog, what you are doing in your household. I don't know. Have you just completely run out of content where you have to keep repeating it? Or, and that is my guess, you keep um, reading the comment sections of your uh, reaction channels. Packing, I don't know, me packing memories, like those things are just not good because like every object I own gives me a memory or makes me think of like one day when Feline and I won't be living together and that's just like hard for me. Okay, so uh, everything is hard for you, so that's not a new thing. Uh, but here's a little bit of advice. How about you have driven your life so much against the wall that I'm thinking what you need to do is take hard measures. Um, for example, pack everything that you have a current relation to, like an energetic connection with, and just put that in boxes and put it you know, maybe in your office, I, I don't know, and then actively make plans to leave that apartment. And everything that you do not want, you leave there and you hire a company um, that gets the stuff out of your apartment and um, sells it or whatever, you know. But um, you're always flaunting how much money you got, so how about you put your money to good use, save your audience, all the talking about what overtaxes you and um, just go and leave and start a new life. Get out of this environment. Stop talking about 
the past, you know, just start over like a brand new start. I don't know how that could happen on her channel because homegirl here can't stop lying. But, you know, here's just a suggestion um, to leave the past behind and um, go somewhere else with a few things that you have a relationship with, um, you know, that you actively use. But I was actually just like sitting here taking a break from all that and I was journaling. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a lot of journaling. It has helped so much. Even my therapist is like, I'm proud of you. Sure, Jan. I was journaling more about just like my weight because today's weigh-in really got to me for sure. And it... Uh, it probably did, but uh, unfortunately you're not sharing uh, the truth with your audience. Relating with YouTube. Like I wanted to really focus in and be like, is YouTube the reason why... I am over 500 pounds. Hmm. Well, you already answered that question and I told you um, that it actually is because you abused the, the great fortune that you had that for a while there you made over $10,000 a month. Um, and with your skill set and uh, your mental and physical laziness and your personality, you would have never been able to find a job out here that would have paid you that much uh, to where you wouldn't have had to focus on your bills more. Like, is my rent paid? Is my ele electric bill paid? Is my water bill? You know, all the utilities. Uh, is all of that paid? You would have never been able to buy this much food uh, to gain this much weight. Because let's be real, you started off at uh, 368, I believe, or 369 uh, back in November 2013, which was almost 10 years ago. And now you're close to 600 or over 600, because 530 something is absolutely not realistic, uh, given that we've seen you almost on a daily basis, at least once a week um, for years now. And... Um, so yeah, I want to say, not that YouTube is to blame, but the fact that you are on YouTube, that you had the uh, funds available to waste this much money on food. And I had to like go back, go down memory lane, me and memories hate those, but I had to go back down memory lane and I was like, what is the highest weight that I reached while having like an outside job? And that was actually about 480 pounds, 490 pounds. I and even then did you use mobility scooters to uh, feed more into your laziness? I was a PCA worker. I worked at a assisted living facility. Where you frequently, and probably with that look on your face, uh, stalked your uh, colleagues, even the ones that didn't want to be filmed, and you filmed them at work. Where I would like to mention again how, how much that triggers me. Because when I'm at work, I'm not there for fun. I'm there because I want to pay my bills. And so nobody gets to film me. You know, why would somebody shove a camera in my face? That would happen once. And they would lose their phone until that uh, file is erased. She frequently did that. She also filmed um, the, the residents there. And um, and then she lied about how nobody nobody there cares. When I was pretty much almost 500 pounds. So I can't blame YouTube. I can't. No, no you're, you're going to have to. In the sense, not that YouTube, like the stress, as you wanted to make us believe, you know, the stress and the bullying and the, the you know, uh, uh, all of that. You wanted to put the blame on that. Um, no, 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 but YouTube gave you the opportunity uh, to say, here is a whole bunch of money. What are you going to do with it? And you actively and on a daily basis made the decision to use that money um, to cram food into your stomach day after day after day. No matter where I've been in life, whether it was working a nine to five or whether it was going to college or whether it was high school or no matter what job... Uh, college for one semester and she didn't even pass and uh, that college has closed down because it uh, turned out to be a scam and so I love how she keeps bringing up these things as if she's um, a normally functioning member of society she is not and um, so I think what she's trying to do here is make a video 
that she would like for you to to uh, review uh, when we continue getting to her with the reports of her videos where she violates terms of service. Um, yeah, so let's keep listening. No matter what walk of life I've had, I've always turned to food. Like, it doesn't matter. Because I was sitting here and I was wondering, I was like, should I get a different job? Like, should I... You don't have a job. You should get a job. Stop YouTube as a job. You have it as an income. It is not a job where you have a schedule, where you put effort into it, where you have to interact with other people. I don't, I still don't see it as a job. For others, yes, there are people out there that actually treat it like a job. They have an upload schedule and they show accountability. They are halfway, you know, likable. You know, they, they show interest in their audience and uh, not her though. Um, she's been a mean bitch on her channel and she's been gaining weight while pretending to be on a weight loss journey, um, even lying about losing weight when she clearly gained. And so um, she doesn't get to call that a job. It's an income, it's a, like a side hustle and um, she didn't put a whole lot of effort into it. She keeps confirming it to us, like in one of the recent blogs, she showed us how she's still editing on her iPhone because she hasn't learned in about 10 years or close to 10 years uh, how to up her editing uh, a game, you know. I mean, I'll always do YouTube, but definitely won't upload as often if it's not a job. I think... I don't think you'll always do YouTube because other than what you're trying to tell us, YouTube is not fun to you. It is your way of weaseling your way through life um, with the lowest uh, effort possible. And when you realize that you can't pay your bills anymore doing it, uh, you're going to stand in line at social services. I uh, can absolutely foresee that in your not so uh, distant future. That goes for a lot of YouTubers out there, but personally, I would never stop uploading because I love the connection between me and my supporters so freaking much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, another lie. Plus, I just love the act of filming. Like, I love filming, I love editing, like the whole act of it is just so fun to me. So I was like sitting here and I was like, should I go try to do something else? Like, build more- You, you got nothing, homegirl. How about you dedicate an entire vlog to exploring what options you have out here um, in order to make money, to feed yourself, to uh, take care of your pets and to put a, a, a roof over your head. Um, that would be an interesting blog. It wouldn't last long, but uh, yeah, why don't you try to explore that? Maybe that'll put like the appreciation into your mind again, that maybe you should put yourself together. You should stop talking about eating disorders and about overeating and about your mental disorders and about how your past ruined your life because none of the above is helpful to anyone out here. None of it. A routine, just more of a routine. And I was like, that has nothing to do with the reason why I am the way I am because I was a PCA worker and then I did data and you you totally failed at that though you failed at that why do you use that a PCA worker I would like to think that if I have um, relatives that need that kind of care that nobody like her would be around them filming them making fun of them sitting on their asses, breaking the couch. Oh, Christmas tree. All right, Casey. What do you mean what's wrong with me? that to me? No, God dang. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, sh- oh. <laughs> Quinn, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, you guys want to know something? It's haunted here at night. It's all a little girl on the camera. <laughs> Ow, your elbows and my hip. And filming the, the other uh, PCA workers against their will. That is just, I don't know why she keeps mentioning it. Probably to get us to talk about it again. What a horrid human being she is. Even when she's taking money from an employer for for doing certain things, you know, and for not doing certain things, such as 
filming the residents and her co-workers. Tree. Like, I was doing all these jobs and I was still mad. You failed at them, though. Quit, quit listing them as an accomplishment uh, because you quit all of them. I'm not even sure if I'm buying that. I mean, that's what she uh, told us, how she quit them. Uh, I strongly doubt it because if I had visited a relative and I had seen that one here um, hold a camera in people's faces, I would have talked to the manager. Massively gaining weight and I had a bunch of friends, I had a social life like every day and I was still just like gaining weight steadily. Like you can even see that like there's proof especially like in the uh, Florida era when I lived in Florida. Mm, you can see proof because you have all of these videos up, including you breaking furniture at work and laughing about it. That that could have woken you up or the fact that you can't even wear jeans anymore, a regular size uh, pants. All of that could have woken you up and none of it did. And now you're trying to hold another TED talk about how you are aware of uh, how things need to change, but you never change anything. And that is something a person working for YouTube that reviews your channel is going to see too. That nothing ever changes for the positive. You're just babbling about it. I was never, ever home. Like I was always out. I was either working. Uh, I call bullshit on that because your um, ex-girlfriend that was with you at the time did confirm that you only had a part-time job. So you were home a lot. Um, hanging with family, hanging with friends. I was always doing something and I was just gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining. Yeah, because when you overeat on a daily basis, then that's what happens. So my weight has nothing to do with routine or am I busy or am I social? None of those things. It has nothing to do with that. and has everything to do with like food follows me everywhere. Mm hmm. That is uh, correct. And what follows you everywhere, too, is your your inability to keep food out of your mouth. Um, because what you still haven't even tapped into is the fact that we have a soul and um, a mind that are kind of connected. And so they they want for us to do better and improve in life and not just always get worse. And every time a, a feeling or a thought comes up, you stuff it down and your body pays for it and your mind and soul are suffering. Like me needing comfort comes from any situation, any era of my life, anything that I've been through. It's always been food. It's been the only freaking constant. And I hate it so much because... Hating food is not a good way to be. Mm -mm. I was almost hoping <laughs> that it was YouTube that made me this big. <laughs> what well, again, it's not YouTube. You know, it's not them telling you, please stuff your face all day long so that we make money off of you. It is more so um, YouTube allowing you, like putting money in your hand and saying, hey, so uh, here's the money we owe you for the amount of people that have watched the, the ads. Um, but what you do with that money is up to you. And so um, the fact that she was on YouTube and made money based on her physical measurements and her mental and emotional disorders. Um, it gave her the opportunity to say, am I going to do good with this money or am I just going to feed my gluttony and my laziness? And she did the latter. As crazy as that sounds, because it's like, that's easy to fix. That's something I could fix. Mm -hmm. You always say that, but you never fix anything. But the fact that it's not YouTube and it's not something I could just be like, okay, let's take a break from that and move on to a different journey in my life. No, like my... You you can't because you're too lazy. I mean, even during the years of sitting on your ass, um, you know, after quitting that last job, um, you have not acquired any skills that you could use on the job market, not even working from home. Uh because you have allowed yourself to get so mentally and physically lazy that there's not that tell me the opportunity she has i don't i can't think of any weight has always been a problem always i was 290 pounds when i was 11. i was 420 pounds when i was 16. and every time you mention it you sound like you're proud of it 
I don't know. Or maybe trying to tell us that it's normal. Are you trying to glorify obesity here? Is that what you're doing, Amber Reed? Is that what you're using your channel for? That you're trying to glorify obesity and uh, an eating disorder? I was about 25, 26 when I finally reached like 490. And that was when I was like working routine based all the time. Again, here she is lying to justify her monetizing and exploiting her extensive mental disorders and eating disorders on YouTube. She barely worked. She's exaggerating here. She barely worked. She only worked part time. She called out frequently. She used mobility scooters after work, which is another indicator. She's just completely lazy. Um, she was talking about uh, wearing the wrong shoes, but kept wearing the wrong shoes. Um, and after she quit um, another job, she had her girlfriend, who still had her job, um, do the household chores. And Amber was just sitting at home all day waiting for her to come home, even uh, bothering and harassing her girlfriend at work. And she quit every job. And so the laziness and gluttonous based on her mental disorders were already very prevalent. And now she's trying to turn things around and say she was very active and she still gained weight. Absolutely not. She was not active. She was more active than she is now, but she was never active. Uh, what we consider, you know, active in uh, the normal world out here in reality and uh, she's just trying to justify continuing uh, to monetize and exploit her weight gain and her mental and the eating disorder. So it's just like through journaling, I'm really trying to figure out like the next steps in my life because your girl is is completely delusional. And I think, guys, we keep talking about it. And I think she does need help with the decision. I think. Um, you know, with, with me reporting her videos like that, uh, it's going to do her a favor in the long run because she has no appreciation for uh, how much money she's been paid over the years. She didn't do good with it. She only fed her food addiction and um, used her mental disorders to clickbait and monetize and exploit everything in her life. And so if she doesn't have any alternatives in her head and she wants to continue doing it maybe it's better she's being stopped and um, that way she has to look for other alternatives lost and i know i said that earlier today but i really am and i'm trying to find the right path for me because i'm i'm like on a fork in a road it's like not a bump like it's a fork and i've no you're just flapping there's there's nothing authentic about this nothing nothing um real you're just flapping so many paths and ways and things to choose and yeah no your your options are so limited you've eaten yourself into this prison and it's going to be hard to get out of it but it's going to take a lot of work and instead of just always talking about what you should be doing um vlog some action steps that's what a lot of people out here are expecting from you I don't know. It's just crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's actually, if you have an IQ over 90, it's it's pretty easy to figure it out. It's hard to put into action. I give you that. But it's not crazy. You've eaten yourself into a prison and you need to diet your way out of that prison. Honestly. A lot of people ask like, so you were in foster care, like how did you get so big, like you didn't have money, like you grew up with poor parents, like yeah. It's definitely crazy because one of the reasons why I was taken from my parents is neglect. And that comes with all forms. Like I remember when my mom came to visit me when I had cancer. and we You didn't have cancer, but your mom did visit you. Okay, go ahead. We talked so much about like the finances when I was like younger before I was put in foster care and like I only had one pair of pants. Like my dad would have rather spent money on getting high uh, in whatever form that he wanted than buy his own kids like clothing and stuff. And Mm, it's almost like you with your pets now. You'd rather do a torrid haul and go out to eat instead of taking Twinkie to the vet. You know, maybe a repeating pattern here. And that also goes with like food and this and that. But like when I finally did have food or it was like a standard meal, it was really unhealthy and I would eat a lot and I would sneak any sort of food that I could, especially once I like got into like group homes and 
She also stole um, at um, retail stores. Foster homes and stuff, like I would steal food. Like sometimes money has nothing to do with being bigger at all because okay i th now i'm sure she's only trying to say all of these things um to counteract what we've been doing like youtube the fact that she is given so much money for monetizing and exploiting her weight gain her mental disorders and her emotional disorders um she's just trying to justify that that problem existed before I don't think so. Nobody can have, no, nobody with her skill set has the ability to get a job where they make enough money to eat this much. I don't think so. All the foster homes I was ever in, group homes, like that's not like a money heavy place. Like it's always been very poor, like low income place. And that's how I grew up. That's like based on my experiences. And like another really good example, like I had like barely any money. Like let's be real. When I reached almost 500 pounds, like I wasn't really making that much money. Like No, because it was part time jobs that you had. You admitted to it at one point in time. Uh, Destiny confirmed it just earlier this year and now you're trying to lie about it again and make it sound like it was a full-time job. It was not. Like maybe a couple thousand. Like money has nothing to do with why I am the way I am. Like me. No, it does because it gives you the funds to overeat on a large scale. Right? I mean, I know that there are people out there that are sometimes even larger than her that don't work at all that are on social security um or whatever but she has used the money she did mukbangs one after another and all the takeout food she wouldn't have been able to afford it if she hadn't had the youtube thing going me having a lot of money here on youtube isn't the reason why i am the way i am no, it is because again, with your skill set, your personality and your laziness and also your lack of intelligence, you would have never landed yourself a job. And if you had by mistake, then you wouldn't have been able to hold on to that job um, to spend this much money on food. Let's be real here, Amber. You can try to convince YouTube otherwise, but uh, the documentation on your channel is real. Like, no matter how much money I have, food is my comfort regardless. And that is proof. My experience in my life is proof of that. I think what I'm trying to ultimately say is like, this is my fault that I have chosen food as a comfort and I- Yes, absolutely. And I'm glad you're saying this and you're admitting to it. That's a good step. I kept it as my comfort. So now it's like formed into a massive addiction. And I am blaming myself. Mm, the massive addiction you have to food that you keep talking about on your channel. It's almost like you're glorifying the food addiction, isn't it? And nobody else but myself. And that's kind of like freeing. It makes me want to just like take steps further to do better. Okay, I'm going to clip this one for future reference because I want to see you take action steps. You cannot just flap your jaws and hope that your audience forgets what you said. We're going to pin you to this. Action steps need to follow this little TED talk. And be better. And I don't want to blame outside things like YouTube or money. Like, that's crazy. No, it's not crazy. And so, yeah, there we have it. And, um, yeah, I think that the reports of her videos is starting to get to her. I don't see any other reason why she would um, be talking about this now. Which, of course, is not going to stop me from uh, continuing to report her uh, videos that include uh, talking about drug use, about um, her eating disorders and mental disorders. She needs to learn what she can do in her blogs and what she cannot. She always calls it a job. Part of a job is to know what you can and cannot do in the workplace. And so I'm going to help her with that. Um, not impressed, of course, clickbaiting, uh, thinking about quitting YouTube. And um, as a little bit of a treat for us all, my next video is going to be me reacting to her 
actually announcing that she would leave YouTube in 2019. So that video is coming up um, because I need something else in my head and not just the same over and over again what she's doing now. I'm tired of hearing about um, her eating her feelings, uh, stuffing her face, uh, how she suffers from her eating disorder and her mental disorders and uh, being depressed over a breakup that did not happen recently. And so uh, I'm going to do that. So that's going to be the next video. All right, you guys, thank you for listening to this. Um, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.